Hi, I'm Max. I'm Leo. I'm Michael. I'm Jason. And this is our episode one of our podcast. Um, uh, and what's our topic today? Um, my topic is how has online platforms affect daily life? How has it affected daily life? Do you guys have an opinion on that? Yes, a lot. It changed a lot. Oh, you have no fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Positive or negative effect overall on dating life? Well, I'm like, how has it affected communication between partners? I'll say it as a positive because uh, kids are like, because yeah. before, back in like a thousand years ago, right? <laughs> a thousand years ago? <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? Oh, okay. Like, with, before social media came out, like, you have to write letters to your partners, oh, but now yeah. you just pick up your phone and just type it. Yeah, have you guys seen right? like the movie Napoleon? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So it's kind of like bias. So from other people's perspective, that's what you only can see. So you think, oh, this guy's this guy or this girl is living like the best best life. Yeah, because you only yeah, see like, like every day, right? And then so it kind of just put like the pressure on uh, on the other other people. Yeah. Kind of what do you think? Uh, I think it definitely has uh, negative effects. Negative effects, yeah, because it's just because uh, like people, everyone's very selective on their photos. But I think it doesn't affect a lot for me because uh, like, I'm a very conservative lover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, you actually talk. I actually talk to people for a long time before I, you know, any. No, but it's not just like dating. We're talking like you. Th- you see all these people like looking really nice in their clothes. Uh, they're still doing some photos or whatever. Yeah. You, you, or celebrities, and you feel like. You know, you're not on par, like maybe they're on a different level. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Personally, I don't feel like it because I just don't like like faking their clothes. Yeah, faking their clothes. It's it's like ridiculous. I I know maybe it doesn't affect us as much. Like, this might be sexist or something. Because we're guys, right? Like, it doesn't, like, we don't really care as much about like how we look or how we dress, right? But I feel like, I feel like this would have more effect on, on girls. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, because you know they want to dress nice, and they see all these Instagram models and like to entertain. Yeah, they see like slim waist, you know. Yeah, yeah. Big, big butt. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I don't have that. I don't have that hourglass figure, but like, it's all edited. It's all online, and I feel like. Yeah, so I feel like I can think a little bit, so like, yeah. so other people can see that I am a type of like a model person. Yeah, it definitely affects some people more than yeah, others. Yeah. yeah. Also, like. Like males, they got scams, and women lying to themselves. <laughs> I'll say it's like a bad effect. All right. So, um, so has social media affect your personal dating life? So Jason, I know you're dating someone at the master, right? Mm-hmm. How has social media affected your long distance relationship? <laughs> it helps a lot, right? Like it's not just um, dating with girls, right? It's just also like. And that's just dating, dating guys too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that's how like, I like, stay connected with, I don't know, people that's like close with you, right? Yeah. You know, like once again, like like years ago, right? You have 200 years ago, right? Maybe not just 200 years ago, right? Like it's really hard to keep, keep connected, right? Oh, but yeah. the social media gives us like a, like a chance like to to stay connected with your partner like easily, right? And I I'll say it helps a lot. Of course it helps a lot. Do you have like like long distance relationship, do you have insecurities with your partner that social media makes it easier for you? I'll say that part just just make yourself busy, right? Just so just forget about it. Just forget about it. Okay. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> just forget about it. Like, what else you can do? Right? Right? You know, talk to them, do social media, do Instagram, like, do, do your WeChat. Like, yeah, I just talk to them whenever I'm not busy, right? Okay. Alright, then, Max, I remember you telling me how you broke up over social media last week at midnight and you cried. <laughs> you want to expand on what happened? Okay, so. The case is, I broke up because I, I drink too much. You drink too much? Is yeah. actually what happened? Yeah, that's actually what happened. And actually? Then, yeah, actually. And then, because I was a heavy drinker with my friends, and like every week, and every, almost every day. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then the thing is, she'll be texting me at midnight, and like, like non-stop, like checking what I'm doing, because she hates me drinking. But I just can't stop, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then, that leads me to think that, you know, what if there's no social media? And we just meet up sometimes, and then you know, just hang out. Maybe the relationship will be more stable because we don't know, like, what our partners are doing every single second. Right. Well, wouldn't that wouldn't that worry her more because she doesn't know what you're doing? Right? So she would like come up to your house and like actually come in person. Yeah, but I think that's like a that's like a that's illegal, right? <laughs> that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's my opinion because. Uh, uh, it, it's it's definitely good, but sometimes it pulls us too close and it creates so, extra problems. So like overall, it depends on the person. Yeah, like I, I personally, I know I was a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> you are, bro. Well, I don't remember you telling us this. <laughs> okay. Um. So, do you guys think that dating apps have a negative effect on people with a different sexuality, with different like gender identity? 
Yeah, Michael, I know. Uh, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I know you have friend group with a lot of homosexuality people. Like, like, do, do they share anything about this? Do you like how social media affect their? They don't. They're homosexual. Like it's not. They're like present. Yourself. They're present here. Like, what about your observations of their, you know, relationship? What about what just be sad? You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> we all know you're bisexual. Like, what's, your, what's, your, what's your sexuality? Are you straight? Yeah. Are you sure? What do you mean? <laughs> like, what the? Are you, are you straight? Yeah. Oh, are you straight? Like, you could be bisexual. Are you straight? I'm, I'm straight. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm straight too. So, as for straight guys, do do you guys think that dating apps or social media have, has an effect on someone who's like maybe? Who's gay? Who's pansexual? Who's transgender? Do you think social media? Yes. Works? I'll say. Let me. I'll say uh, pause there, right? Because like it provides them like a, a greater chance to find someone that is also homosexual. Yeah. Because it's not. Right. It's obviously not the majority, right? Yeah. It's not the majority. I feel like they're online, you know. Um, like people are behind the screen, so they feel like more secure to. Be homophobic or be transphobic or be whatever phobic, right? To someone else, so I feel like maybe that has maybe it's a negative thing because you know they're, it's very hard to come out with your sexuality already, and then now you're telling everyone your sexuality, and people can like make fun of you or do whatever to you without any consequences. That's why I feel like dating apps or social media has, has a negative effect. So yeah, so my opinion is uh, similar. So I, because I believe. Or it is the fact that because now uh, social media or network is like public to everyone, so your information is kind of exposing to everyone around the world, so, right? So if you like put on your uh, put on uh, social media, that everybody is able to access this information, and everybody is gonna kind of you know use this information and kind of judge judge you as like a profile or or like a personality, right? So it's gonna so I definitely think um, it does have negative effect because there's certainly around the world that obviously does not support LGBTQ. Not me, but um, <laughs> I, I know I know I know certainly um, people around the world. People, I know certain people around the world that does not support it. So they gonna have like. Hatred words for the you know typing words and then post it on the social media. So and and um, yeah. Now that I think about it, like you, you guys' point is like also right because like there's a lot of like gay activists or like white activists online. So definitely it could create like social media definitely has a safe space. You just have to use it wisely, right? Yeah. There's so many communities for these. People. Yeah, because yeah, because also you gotta think because of, but also on the other side, it's public, right? Again, uh, there's like people like you or like themselves, like there's like a big community that kind of supports their back. So I would say also positive with that, but uh, I don't well, know. It's kind of mixed. Yeah, yeah like I know you started a community for safe, like people who are in the LGBTQ. I know you started one. <laughs> <laughs> and we just like to thank our sponsor, a UW store. UW yeah. store. Um, uh, make sure you check there. out their website online or just. Oh, they do not have to look up there. It's uwstore.uwalu.ca. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's it. Episode one how online platforms affected our game life. Yeah. Please, uh, Please subscribe. Hit that. Subscribe button. Smash the like button. Turn on the notification. <laughs> Comment your favorite part. <laughs> 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 and we'll see you guys next time. Right. We'll be giving you $2,000 for the best moment. $2,000. <laughs> 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 Alright, we'll see you guys next time.